to give an example. Dublin has published binding rules to protect EU users of video sharing platforms from harmful content as it promised to hold companies to account and end what it called the wild west of self-regulation. Ireland's Online Safety Commissioner Niam Hodnett said the Online Safety Code applicable from next month would bring an end to the era of social media self-regulation. The finalized code will apply to platforms with the EU headquarters in Ireland. It requires that the platforms protect people, especially children, from harmful video and associated content. The platforms will have a responsibility to stamp out cyberbullying and ensure that there are ways for people to report content that breaks the rule. We regulate the platforms rather than the end users. So what we're doing is holding the platforms to account to ensure that they're complying with their obligations rather than the harm that's being caused by end users. So the platforms have to make their platform safer for children, um, whether it's through age assurance or otherwise in relation to extreme or violence. But in terms of illegal or harmful content, they also have to mitigate those risks and assess those risks. And we're supervising them to get with the European Commission as well. If there is pornography or extreme or violence in your platform, then you have to have an effective form of age assurance. Um, that declaration alone is not sufficient. Um, so in terms of the guidance, again, we do go through different types of age verification or age assurance that could be used by the platforms, and we don't mandate any particular form, but we do describe types of age assurance or age verification that can be used outside of self-declaration. Um, so that can be used, you can use artificial intelligence, you can have cognitive um, tests, and it can, at the upper echelon, then require the up uploading of, of um, documentary evidence. We don't require any particular form of, of age verification, of age assurance. What we require is that the platform ensure that it's effective and that it's privacy respecting as well. But we are part of a network of regulators uh, as, as a member state in the EU. And we have a particular responsibility here in Ireland because a lot of the large platforms are based here. But a number, a number of countries have, have those extra responsibilities as well. We work very closely with, to it, the, with the European Commission and we're involved with, with investigations that they've already opened, for example, TikTok and X and so on. Uh, we're actively supporting those. Uh, our, our teams talk regularly with the Commission staff um, um, and there's an you know, exchange of, you know, we do capacity building with them. It's really quite a close, but still early days developing kind of network. Companies breaching the rules face fines of up to 20 million euros or 10% of a platform's annual turnover, whichever is greater. The obligation will apply from the next month, although platforms will have up to nine months to update its IT system. Ireland's media regulator in January designated 10 services as video sharing platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Udemy, TikTok, LinkedIn, X, formerly known as Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Reddit. The code will be applied to nine of the ten platforms, with Reddit having won the rights to appeal against being designated. A TikTok spokesperson said to welcome the introduction of the new code, which Ireland's Digital Service Commissioner John Evans called a significant milestone. First, that we might address through 